Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 19 of Tropical Rouge. Pretty curious, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, we starting. Okay! Weird, but about to have like a revenge episode all in one today oh baby <laughs> oh oh damn mm. <laughs> poor baby oh my god mm. Basically. Look at good at him. <laughs> yeah, we're <moving. Well, you know, just pick one. You want to play that Animal Crossing game again? literally just tensed up by that <laughs> oh that's hilarious <laughs> oh, 
you poor baby. <laughs> oh, poor thing. I love having friends who get scared. <laughs> it's like this one. It's super cute and adorable. And it's just like, oh, it's okay. I remember once I remember watching a scary movie and shit. Yeah, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Poor baby. And besides, this will be fun. You get to conquer your fear. Dog moans. <laughs> really? That side pony, Laura. Love it. This is giving me, um, oh my god, I think it's ghost stories that anime never watched it i know a lot of people have said the dub is really good and i'm like yeah one day i'm gonna watch it don't know when but one day Yeah, but I don't think that's the doll we're going to see from the preview. It was like that Chucky looking type doll. So can we talk how pretty Asuka looks with her hair up in a ponytail? Like, oh my god, baby. Uh, I might put my hair in a ponytail after this. No five. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, she is the one who caused all that noise. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this is so freaking hilarious. I love this. <laughs> Kinda.
Yeah, because it really looks like a straight up a Chucky doll, but if Chucky was a girl. Well, at least you have food. I mean, not in a way that you should have gotten it. I mean, mm. So you real? <laughs> girl. Oh. Oh, that's eggs. <laughs> See, the one thing I also love about Manasu is like, even when she is getting played by a villain, she's like, "Oh, I'm glad you liked it." <laughs> Yeah, how do you make up a story so quickly? Mm, but she left you, of course. Classic Toy Story move. Don't make me feel sad for this girl. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Baby, 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 precious baby. <laughs> if you only knew. <laughs> yeah, so how are you going to stop, like, a freaking place to get demolished? See, this just makes me even more excited to see how, like, the Halloween episode is going to go for this series. No. Well, here those two come. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, it's kind of strange not to hear music right here. Get the oh! <laughs> Get the doll. Mm -hmm. Now, what if she sees after this moment and actually having a relationship or a friendship with Manasu? Like, oh, hey, you know, maybe the pretty girl aren't that bad. Maybe I should be friends with them or something. Who knows? I mean, it's only episode 19. Do you want the doll? Or are you just going to leave it? You would think she would take it with her. Just to have like a memory. Or something with like the little time that her and Manasu had. Or maybe Manasu herself is going to take the doll. Because there, there's no way in heck they're going to be able to save this mansion. Uh oh. Mm. Oh. Just, mm -mm, just can't cancel it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm.
Well, at least the mansion's not destroyed. <sighs> Thank God. Good job, girls. Mm. Hmm. So then is it a possibility that she took the doll with her or it just went somewhere else? <laughs> This was a cute episode. <laughs> Love the little scare moments. That was adorable. Yeah, you did take it. Aww. She took everything. Oh, it's so fucking cute. She didn't have to, but you know, like I said, it, it just kind of states a little teeny tiny bit, even though, yeah, she still hates the pretty girl. She's like, no, you know what? One of them was really nice and sweet to me and gave me food and, you know, yeah, I had shelter, but also someone to talk to because, yeah, of course, she had to be lonely for, like, what, the two, three days that she was staying there alone. So, of course, to have Manitou, you know, come before school, during lunch, and after school and spending time with her is sweet. I mean, that just tells you how dedicated Manitou was to their like quote unquote friendship because it was a friendship i mean it, you could see that like straight up that it really was but honestly as like a horror moment i loved it i i love the little spooks i love the fact that out of everyone monitor is the one who is afraid because usually like typically five out of ten it usually is the pink here the, like their leader who is afraid of like scary movie type ish but i wanted it to be kind of maybe like atsuka or, like, Sango, even though you did have a little moment with them being, like, a little afraid to go into the mansion. But still, at the end of the day, it was just Monitsu. But still, it was adorable. I mean, honestly, this is a really cute freaking episode. I mean, dead ass. Like, to have our villain essentially see a different side and then, yeah, saying, oh, hey, yeah, she is a pretty cure. And then once again saying, mm, maybe she's not that bad. Well, if you know, probably by like episode, it wouldn't surprise me if by like episode 25 she like becomes good. One, okay, I love the way the Mom and Pond looked. It was a star. That thing is so freaking cute. And I'm guessing the colors also represent all five girls. But you know what? I bet you I knew who ate it. It was Kudarun. Come on, Kudarun. It makes the most sense. Come on, that thing looks so freaking huge and such. There is no way that any one of the five girls could literally finish it. Maybe Manatsu because, you know... When it comes to food, girl is like, oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> Even when they made the cut-out <laughs> the cut out in meal and they couldn't eat it because it was cut out in, but Monica was over here eating it like it was nobody's business. <laughs> I mean, because seriously, could you eat something so adorable as this? You can't really see her because of the freaking light. But can you eat something as adorable as this little thing? Even if you make it as an omelet or like anything. <laughs> I I literally that I could not imagine. Like, but still, it had to be monetary. <laughs> because who else would eat?
need it. I do love the fact that Miranin is going to be a detective next week. I think that's really cute. I think it, in a way, they're kind of going to pay homage to, um, of course, Detective Conan or Case Clothes and such. Because, not, I mean, like, mm, if her glasses, well, if she was using her actual rounded glasses that she wears every single day, then I would say, yeah, mm -hmm, dead ass, like, that's a Detective Conan reference. But she's using these light-ups <laughs> Glasses, such a cute, very aesthetic, and everything. Also, can we talk about the outfits today? Oh my god, everybody looks so nice. Laura, like, once again, like, she. <clears throat> we always loved her mermaid look. But this, like, seeing her as a human every single week now, even though this is, like, now week two, three for her. <laughs> baby like oh my god her style and then her hair her side pony and once again ask his ponytail like oh my god everybody looks so good i have to kind of say this like i feel like now like out of from futariwa all the way up to this i feel like this series is like the best fucking outfits i mean they're like in any other pretty cute series there's some really really good outfits that the girls wear either every day or when it comes to like oh let's go do this or let's go do that but like these girls and especially the um i think it was when they were it was released about like a couple of months ago um there was this like artwork or i think they're arts for cards and um each girl had like a really nice outfit i really love like songo's um not her uh not her outfit for the show but the outfit that was in the promo card looked really nice gave me like this she had this belt that was like that had tropical rouge pretty here on it and stuff and i was like oh my god like the just the outfits even manas's like outfit and i have a picture of it on my phone I was like, I want this outfit. I want to wear this outfit, like, mm, every day-ish. Um, I think Miranin had an outfit that I, like, really loved. And then Asuka, like, because, of course, Asuka, like, any, almost anything Asuka kind of wears is very fashionable, I think, between her, Laura, and Sango. I, I need a little bit more of, like, Miranin because everybody... <laughs> I don't know if everybody's still doing it now, but, like, the last time I went on TikTok, like, a while ago, and I was on, like, Pretty Cure TikTok, somebody was clowning Mirorin on the fact is that she's wearing socks with sandals. And I've seen a lot of people do that, even when I went on vacation, and even myself thinks that is hella weird. I'm like, I don't understand why people wear socks with sandals. I unless it's, like, the house sandals. I get that. But these are regular old sandal sandals. It just looks so weird and out of place to me, but I still love it. It's still, it's very her. I get it. Like, it's her aesthetic, it's her outfit, so of course it's going to look good on her no matter what. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 19 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Cure. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday, Sunday for episode 20. Bye, guys.